So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different um, regarding quarantining a fish that has symptoms already. So I bought a hippo tang, you know, the, the dory fish, um, recently from someone that was medicating improperly at low levels and they weren't in the medication for the recommended amount of time. Now, what this can do is it can actually mask some symptoms. So when I got that fish, it looked clean, but a little while afterwards, it was in the quarantine, just in observation. It wasn't in therapeutic copper at this point, and it started developing ick. So my response to that was actually to do a 30 minute hydrogen peroxide dip and come to find out I actually did something a little wrong, but I'll get to that in a minute. But doing this dip cleared away a lot of the ick that was on the surface of the fish. So this helped to relieve some symptoms while I increased the copper in the quarantine to you know eradicate the problem so now the fish is looking very healthy it still has maybe one or two spots you know here and there but very healthy in comparison to how it was looking and is able to be you know to go through the rest of the quarantine process without the risk of dying off before you know the copper can catch up so doing this hydrogen peroxide dip really helped to, you know, give yourself a little bit of time and doing it with something as simple as hydrogen peroxide that you can get at any pharmacy. I picked it up at CVS, you know, means you can do it the day you recognize symptoms. You pull the fish, you do the dip, then you can worry about the rest because you know you've given that fish a little bit longer before it really has, you know, the ick overtake it. Now, this is not a cure. It's not... Um, it has not been proven to in any way completely eradicate ick, but it relieves symptoms, that being the critical part, that it's relieving it enough that copper can catch up. Now, what did I do wrong? So I came to find out after I did this dip that it's actually supposed to be done static. And what that means is no aeration in the water because aeration is actually going to break down hydrogen peroxide faster in the bath. So your air bubbles are gonna break apart that hydrogen peroxide. You're just gonna end up with you know, free oxygen and water, which is useless at that point. You want that hydrogen peroxide still bound together for it to be, to be effective. So I did my dip in a bucket with an air stone and a heater. Now, the reason I did it, I had a spare heater, so that wasn't a problem. I just didn't want the water temperature to drop. But Apparently, the proper way to do it for the most effective results is actually to not to aerate the water before, then add your hydrogen peroxide, then add your fish. If you do it the reverse, that aeration is actually going to break apart your hydrogen peroxide. Now, that being said, although this was not the most effective method, it worked. So it's not like doing it this way is going to harm the fish. It just is not the most effective manner. So if I was to do this in the future with another fish, I'll follow those procedures, but I'm still happy with the results. If you saw the fish beforehand, and I apologize because all of my footage is terrible, the fish obviously would not stay still. But if you look at the fish now, and I got better footage of this, the fish is relatively clear. So the combination of doing this dip and increasing the copper levels has actually removed 99% of the ick at this point. So it's getting to a part where I can start that healthy quarantine, eradicate ick from the system, and that fish will be good to go in this display tank, hopefully in the next you know, month or so. Hey YouTube, so February 6th, I am doing an interview with Humblefish and we're actually talking about improper techniques of quarantining and medicating fish being done by wholesalers and fish stores 
and what that could mean for the hobby. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, you know, turn on that bell notification so you can find out if improperly quarantining is better than nothing or if it's actually worse for the hobby that stores are doing this.